give it a whip. All right. No. <laughs> okay. Hey, everybody. Uh, today I'm at, where are we today? Uh, Canyon Crest Country Club in Riverside, California. Canyon Crest. So this is, uh, hopefully you can hear me because it's kind of a stripped down production right now because of, uh, I just want to do this and kind of put it up on the internet and not really have much fuss. So this is, an, is a review of this thing called the Swing Coach. So check it out. So you, as you guys know, switch spots with me, Neil. Yeah. As you guys know, uh, recently I've been working on a, uh, in my swing of getting a lot more right side control, a lot more dominance in the right arm and everything, right? So I saw this advertised, it's being advertised on the internet all over the place right now. I saw this advertised and I thought, oh, this looks great. Because what you do is, you take a ball and you put it into this holder thing here in the front, right? And then the idea, and people do it on the infomercial like it's, like it's nothing, but I have a professional golfer here with me and an experienced golfer myself, and we cannot do this. I took this to, to um, try to, to do it the other day uh, at a golf course uh, it's called Skylinks. It was crowded, right? And I was putting balls that way, behind me, this way. Uh, it's not super safe. So I have the speed gauge thing in here, which you're supposed to hit slow shot. So the idea is you take this and you sling it, you kind of just throw it, straight down the fairway and if you do that that's everything you need to do in a regular swing so oh that's, that's one of the best one. I've done yeah I on camera 10 for sure got some more balls yeah let's grab some more balls you got it they do give you too I don't have it with me a little coin that you're supposed to put like four inches in front of your where your ball position would be and they say okay accelerate to that point Ah, see, that's a very normal kind of thing to do. So then, when you're ready for the the big leagues or to do some serious damage, now this could get crazy. <laughs> Actually, in our range here, that O'Neill kind of threw one toward that is the pro shop. So, okay, you take this little speed gauge thing out here. See this little rubber stopper? You take that out of the middle, so that gets it... Uh, yeah, you know, balls deep, as they say, into this training aid. Hey, these are reduced flight. That doesn't make a difference. <laughs> no, reduced flight is not going to help us <laughs> here. There's no impact in this. It's all sling. So this is a lot different because it's it's set a lot deeper in there. Um, all right, because it's set a lot deeper in there, what I was doing was I was still trying to have a lot of this late speed. And because of that, it was basically super slow and then accelerating like up here and set the ball that way. And uh, there were, I almost hit this uh, fine Asian gentleman the other day who was very, looked at, looked at me like I was crazy. So let's, let's try this. Okay, it's on the range, but that would be, they would say, they would diagnose that it's over the top. Try one like this, O'Neill. Sure. You better do it before anyone gets on the first tee. Yeah, because the first tee is right back that way. So you have just make a golf swing, just see what happens. Can I err on the right side on the first one? I don't care. Yeah, do whatever you want. <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> that probably would have gone. You're straight. casting. They would say that. They would call that casting. <laughs> okay. All right. Here we go. Yeah, that's been most of my shots. <laughs> most, yeah, with, with this, this training aid, they thing. go straight. <laughs> yeah, with or without the plug, they're going. Now, for a million dollars, give us one down. Give us if you if uh, Simon Cow came and, and wanted to put you on a game show and sold you a million dollars to put fling one down the center. Oh my God! All right, that was literally five yards from the window of the pro shop where his boss is standing right now. So. Uh, as a assistant pro in his first six months of existence here, probably doesn't want to do that. Yeah. Um, all right, let me check this. Oh, you're better than I am. Oh, sure. boy. All right, so the main thing I wanted to say about training aids, and you, now what do you think about training aids in general? Just general. about In training general? Aids? Yeah. Um, I mean, 
you use a lot of them in your lessons? I, like I don't use a lot of training aids. Yeah. I do test training aids. So, I'll, you know, a member will say, hey, what do you think of this? And I say, I, I don't know. Let me try it on a few students and we'll uh -huh. see how it works. One like the impact bag. I thought that would really help a couple students. So I gave it a try and it helps some hurt others. But, yeah. uh, you know, honestly, if something helps you, you got to do it. If something doesn't help you. You don't need the to. main thing I think about training aids is it's super critical how you use them. I actually don't think you should do any in golf. I don't think you should do any block practice of any kind. But certainly with a training aid, it, it rings true more than anything else. So uh, I'm going to use this in the way that I think you should, which would be one of these slingers, regular swing, and then actually hit a ball. So let's get my driver and we'll yeah. try it. All right, so here we go. So this is like doing this as we will. Alright, so right down the center here. Okay, it went straight anyway. Alright, so this is more a general thing about all training aids. This flip-flopping on training aids, so I think they did a, uh, they've done a couple studies. I'm going to tee this real low because we're on a kind of a, kind of a short range here. So they did a couple, a, a lot of studies about the benefit of training aids, and basically, like once you've used a training aid a couple times in a row, all the magic of it or whatever to bleed into your real golf swing is lost. So the way you want to do it is you take the training aid swing, whatever it is, impact bag, impact snap, um, you know, a towel under here, whatever it is. You do that then you take it off then you keep the feeling of the training aid and you make make a few swings so if i'm feeling this acceleration more in the front from that training aid i had i keep that feeling then you just hit a golf shot you try to totally forget about it and then you repeat that in a circle in a circle changing clubs and stuff too so i'm just going to try to get that feeling here Yeah, it was good. Same Looks feel. Great. All right, let's run you through that circle, O'Neill. Sure. Uh, training aid first. Training aid first. And we're going to do a video soon with O'Neill, get to know him and everything like that. But All right. All right. Don't have to, be about 70%, don't have to. No, that's really scary. Okay, yeah, he hit the pro shop. So that's that's probably going to end our use of the swing coach because we have a a very good golfer and a, a professional teacher, professional golfer, who uh, was desperately trying not the only place he didn't. He could have thrown it anywhere, 360 degrees around. The only place he didn't want to hit was. Uh, the window of the pro shop and he actually hit the wall next to the window of the pro shop Let's get a little shot <laughs> of where it went. I did try to go straight on that one. Yeah there So a little ghetto pro tracer. It went like that Okay, so in final review, um, I don't want to give my uh, Out of five stars yet, but O'Neill you have nothing to do with this product whatsoever. Um, just, just first blush, what would you say? Safety first. Yeah, it's 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 a, it's <laughs> dangerous. I, I mean, if you have the right kind of environment, let's say, uh, oh gosh, I, don't, I can't even think of many places you yeah. could use this. You know what? It, like uh, you can use this with foam balls and things like yeah. that. You know, like an almost golf ball. Yeah. That kind of thing would be good, especially if you're the type of person that just like you feel like uh, you're just going like this. You know, and you want a lot more. Yeah, or at the, I mean, yeah. at the beach on a cold day, no one's out there. They're only going 60 yards. Yeah, if you drive three, 400 miles to the desert and, and, get, <laughs> and get like some, but it, this is really t uh, tough to use, especially because, I mean, it, it takes a lot more skill than I thought. I actually think there is some hope for this training aid, the swing coach. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep using it a little bit. I mean, you hit it really well when you hit the driver afterwards. Yeah, I did. I did. So. But uh, so there, there, is, there is something to it. But I like to give star ratings, so I will give this a two out of five so far, which is a uh, very, which is low on the scale for sure. 
just because uh, I like the feeling of it, but I cannot send a lot of people out to buy this because somebody's gonna get hit in the head or gonna break a window. So um, I think they're, I know that Dean Rymouth and, and the people who helped put this together are watching this video seeing, uh, saying we're using it wrong, but I guarantee I've done more research on this than most people who would have uh, gotten one or bought one. So the swing coach, uh, one thing to check out.